You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast exploring the scripture and all things related to it. New episodes are released daily. For more information, check out glossahouse.com and subscribe to our channels on Spotify and YouTube. Welcome and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Proof Text. I am Michael Halcom and this is a Greek vocabulary episode where the aim is to help build your Greek vocabulary. So that's what we're thinking about, Greek vocabulary. And the way we're doing that, as I've been doing for a long time, is just thinking about Greek roots. Today's Greek root is the Greek root spelled with lambda omicron ypsilon, pronounced lu, lu, lambda omicron ypsilon. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a step Bible or Greek Testament here in just a second. Uh, we're going to go to Step Bible and look at our Greek Testament here in a second and uh, do a little search on this thing. So if you're watching, that's great. You're going to be able to see. If you're just listening, that's fine too. No big deal. Um, this is a short, sweet, to the point episode. So yeah, well, here we go. I got stepbible.org pulled up, a great site that I would commend to any of y'all. Um, I have my keyboard set to Greek. I'm going to hit the search button. And then I'm going to type in our Greek root for the day. Here we go. Um, Lu. And boom, uh, we get a list here. So you can see that uh, several things come up. Lucas, Lucius, uh, Lucios. And uh, so those are named Luke and Lucius. I don't know if they have anything to do with washing. Uh, they could. They have that Greek root Lu. But if you look at uh, the next few words, um, really that loot. Uh, with a tav on the end of the root there, we have lutron, luter, lutron, so one with an omicron, one with an omega. But then we have the verbal form luo. I, I wonder if we had luto somewhere way back when. But that's what we're thinking about is washing. Um, so you can see that lutron with an omicron at the end is washing. Lu, luo, the verb wash. Um, Different than luo, which is the lambda u upsilon omega, right? But it sounds it sounds very similar. Then we have luter, which is a bathing tub or a bathtub, and then um, lutron with an omega, and that's a bathhouse. So washing, wash, bathtub, bathhouse, these all are in the same sort of um, of realm domain here. But let's look at the verbal form luo. Appears five times in the New Testament. We have uh, John 13, 10, where we have O Lelumenos, the one washing himself, is the idea. Um, yeah, the one washing, I guess, himself. Um, and Jesus said to him, the one washing. Um, yeah, he, so we we have then in Acts 9, 37, we have another particip participial form, Lusanda, Lusandes. Lusandas de ete canaftin in iperro'o. So, um, you know, after after washing or after he washed, and then Acts 16.33, elusin, um, he washed, right? Um, and the one, and the one, I think, handing them over, para lavon, avtus in ekinete ora, in that hour, tes nuptos of the night, Elusin washed apoton plegon from the fountain. Ke evaptiste avtos ke iu avtupandes parachrema. We have in Hebrews 10.22, another participial form, lelus menu, to soma yudati katharro, and um, uh, having washed uh, the body with water. And then finally, we have uh, 2 Peter 2.22, where we have I think this is talking about a pig washing in the mud. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong there. Uh, maybe I'm just making that up. I don't know. Let's see. Use isn't that pig? Uh, yeah, a sow. Um, in kulismon, wallowing. Yep, exactly. Pig wallowing in the mud. So there's the five times that luo, not luo, but luo appears in the uh, Greek New Testament, and it has to do with washing. Um, and once again, I don't have a mnemonic device off the top of my head. Um, 
go along with Luo. I'm trying to think of one. Um, yeah, I don't have one. So, yeah, I don't have anything to throw your way in terms of a mnemonic device. But uh, it's easy enough. Luo. All right, um, I'm going to stop there. Remember this root, lambda, omicron, ypsilon, lu. And then remember in the New Testament, you have lut, lambda, omicron, ypsilon, tav. But that is something to do with washing, usually. All right, I'm going to stop there and say I hope that helps. Interested in growing your ancient language skills but not sure where to start? Glow's House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glossa House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glossahouse.com today. Glossa House, language resources for the global community.